you guys. I am so freaking excited for this unboxing. Oh, I'm excited for every unboxing I do because it's like Christmas every day. But I mean, when this package got delivered and I saw that big box, I knew exactly what it was and it's literally one of the cutest figures I've ordered this year and you guys I am just so obsessed with it I can ah! okay 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 let's let's not like tease this more than I need to but I am going to be unboxing two scale figures today they are both one six and they are both from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and they are the one six scale um, Toru Neko Toru figure and of course if I got Toru then you obviously know uh, who's next Kana oh my goodness I literally my jaw dropped when I saw these two boxes they are so freaking cute I'll give you a better like view of them uh, but oh my god I'm so happy. Uh, this is from Seoul International, which I've never ordered from them. Uh, I've never really had any experience with this figure company, so it was a risk, but just by looking at the figure through the box, I'm so glad that I took that risk. I cannot, like I have no words right now. I am so excited to unbox these guys. Uh, I will say that uh, Kana's box came in a little damaged if you can see there's a rip there i don't really know if there's anything i can really do about it but i mean it's fine as long as the figure is okay which i believe it is we're about to really find out today though um it, it should be fine i don't i don't even know if ami ami can do anything for me about that but uh anyways please make sure you like and subscribe um i think what we're gonna do is we are going to unbox kana first because i know she is very popular among the fandom i guess um toru is my favorite i will say but i l definitely love kana a lot i think she's adorable but um toru will always be my dragon wife i love her so much i have so much Ugh, so many things I'm excited about with this. Okay, so first off, let's let's take a look at the box. Uh, I love the colors. First of all, the little cute design. I I am a sucker for like this kawaii like I don't know pastel look aesthetic. Ugh, it makes the figure look so much cuter. I mean, the figure itself is really cute, but I mean, it just makes it look so much cuter. <laughs> the little writing of her name and everything, you get all different views. Here we go. Um, I will show you Toru's right now, actually, because I might forget <laughs> once I get to her. Uh, but this is Toru's, super adorable. I love the green. It definitely matches her color palette, I guess. And of course, the show's color palette. And so did Kana's. Adorable, freaking adorable. Now I don't wanna flash her, so we're gonna block that. Um, when I do show a B-roll, I'm gonna try not to flash her either on there. I don't know how successful I'll be with that, but if the B-roll looks a little off, I mean, when isn't it? But if it looks a little more off than usual, it's cause I'm trying not to flash her. I also don't know if I'm gonna be able to put these figures on my turntable. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'll try to at least. But anyways, let's get started with Kana. Oh my God, I love the inside of the box too. I'll show you guys in a second. The inside of the box, <sighs> actually it's kind of weird because they look like bunnies. I don't even know if you guys will be able to even see that, but it's like bunny head patterns, which I don't know why they didn't make it a cat, but okay. Anyways. Okay, so it looks like this comes with two bases. I don't know if I can choose to just put it on one. Let me just show you. Okay, this is the base or one of the bases. I hate it. It's huge. I do not like this huge ass base i hate huge bases i do appreciate that it's clear i guess instead of like this ugly opaque color that probably wouldn't even match and it'll probably look cheap um with with it displayed with the figure so i guess c 
clear is a safe choice. But what I really want is, and one of the things I was super excited about this figure was the base. <laughs> or like the other part of the base, which is this little cat bed. Holy crap, it is so cute. And it has like, it has an engraving on the plaque that says Kana. Okay, so I guess I thought you can at least take this plastic out and choose to either display it without that big round base and just have this, but I guess you can't. And there's like no instructions that comes with this box where it like says you can do that. Again, we have that same pattern that was in the box on the actual cat cushion, which again, I still do not understand, but okay, I thought I thought it would make more sense if they were cat patterns, but um, all right, I, it's cute anyway, it's just a little weird. The coloring on this cushion is everything especially on the inside i think it looks great i don't think i really don't think it even needs that much detail so but like this is pretty nice i think if anything there could have been at least a little more um shading and detail on the outside but i mean adorable nonetheless i really don't <laughs> even care i'm so glad that they even like put this much effort into it the plaque is just what brings it all together that I absolutely love. There's that. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the base. So it's just a hole there. And then that connects there. And it just connects like that. So um, on the box in the photo with the figure, this round base is actually brown. So like I said, I'm really at least thankful that they made it clear. I'm also really glad that it's clear because even though I wanted this base alone, the fact that it's clear kind of gives it the illusion that it's sitting alone without this big round thing. You know what I mean? Okay, and now let's bring out our Queen Kana. She's wrapped in plastic, so let's take that out. First impressions, she is adorable i think i'm so captured by how adorable she is that i don't even want to look at the mistakes on her so but i'm gonna point them out for the sake of this video okay so without flashing her there is some like rough paintwork going on again i've never ordered from this company so even with the rough paintwork her overall cuteness it, it kind of makes up for it and i'll show it to you too so most of it is on her like stockings or her tights, her little socks. Um, you will see it better, of course, on the B-roll. I feel like my exposure is always up when I try to show these things. Okay, there we go, maybe that's better. But like, there, there's definitely some rough paintwork on her legs and her feet. And like, if you run your finger on top of it, you can feel like on her knee, I don't know if you can see that. There's like paint that's like sticking out and then there's like some on her foot, there's like, I don't wanna say that's dirt or something, but yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough. I'm glad if anything that it's on her legs, I guess, than her like face or something. But yeah, I mean, I am just really happy with this. I love the coloring on her. Overall, the paint is smooth and everything. It's just down there that it's a little rough. I do think she could use a little bit more detail in her, um, on the skin of her body. Does it bother me? Not really. I mean, I can kind of get past that. The biggest thing that frustrates me is like the raising paint on her knee, but that's, really about it. I love her little bows that are sticking out on her thighs and her little collar. You can't really see, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, close up you could tell better, but she does have these like whiskers drawn on. I don't know if Todu has them, I don't remember, but just a cute little detail. I like it. Really, not the most detailed hair. I mean, really, it, I've seen more detailed, honestly, but I kind of like this simple, simple vibe going on, you know? I think it's cute, and I think she'll look so much cuter um, posed next to Toru. So let's see how well she sits on her base. I'm hoping I won't have issues with this. Okay, you guys, she sits 
pretty sturdy like she's snug in there which I am so happy about because when it comes to figures that are standing on one leg it's kind of risky um, she doesn't lean she doesn't like wobble either she she sits on here perfectly she looks great I mean seriously other than this base being a little too big for my liking it's gonna take up a lot of space especially because I have Toru too that needs to be next to her um, other than that I think she's so cute like I've been anticipating this figure for so long and I'm so happy that I finally have her she's adorable I love I'm kind of just noticing it too but I love how um, saturated her eyes are like the color is really bold and I really love that because it makes I love that it's popping out. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's super cute. I love this. I'm in love with it. <laughs> this is like a um, Christmas present for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put her down. And then we are going to move on to my Queen Toru. God, there's just something so satisfying about opening a 1 6th or a 1 4th figure. Even like a 1 7th. Like, I love opening... <laughs> huge figures it's not it's not the best in terms of storage for the boxes but um god just taking her taking like these giant pieces of plastic out of the box it's so satisfying okay Toto's box kind of smells but like I guess like paint I can smell the fumes <laughs> Toto's box, Jesus Christ. Anyways, the inside of the box. <laughs> uh, the inside of the box, the pattern is just dragon scales. Okay, I feel like Toto's makes sense. I don't understand Kana still. Was her like favorite animal rabbits or something? Is that why? Like what's the correlation here? Oh my God. I love the fact that Toto is bigger than Kana, of course because she's older and whatnot but like that just means that I get a bigger figure in my hand all right again we have the same clear base and then I can smell the, <laughs> the paint on this I didn't smell it on Kana's I'm literally just standing here sniff <laughs> okay um this is Toru's uh cat bed with the plaque that says her name I love that it's not like perfect handwriting almost. It kind of looks like that it like it was handwritten on there. I love how shiny the plaque is too. It's so neat. I love that. Again, the outside could have, I feel like had more detail in like shading wise. Same with, I feel like it works a little better with Kana's than it does with Todu's. Again, I really don't care. Um, the inside is, I, I think the inside has enough detail or shading to be honest. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm too excited to care right now, I think. Um, and that happens a lot, but yeah, dragon scales. Again, a snug fit. Here we go. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Okay, so Toru is also a really snug fit when it comes to putting her on her base. Um, but I feel like Kana's felt a little more snug than this. Maybe it's because Toru is bigger, so she feels, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that. Here is Queen Toru. Ah, she's so adorable. Oh my God. Okay, so let me, let me take this in really quick. Okay, so first thing I noticed is that she seems to have more, a little more shading on her skin, especially on her back and her tummy than um, Kana did, which I kind of like that she does have the shading going on there it's nice in terms of like paintwork I think she's also much smoother in paintwork I can't really find any like rough details like I did with Kana or like if I do see any it's like very very faint like you you'd have to like literally stare at like the figure this close to really notice it I really do love I know some people had an issue with her being a gray cat but I I think she looks great to be honest i do think the transition from dark to light on the back of her head could have been a little bit more smooth and there could have been a little more of a gradient going on there where the crease separates but i mean 
again she's going to be sitting like this or posed like this so um i guess it's fine i do something i do like about this is that they gave her her little maid headband uh it is a little hard to see her cat ears behind it not really though just a tiny bit you can see like the tips of it and everything i still think it's adorable um i love it i think she's so cute she looks wonderful she looks so great she doesn't wobble either oh she does little not really i mean she's a little heavier so i guess that's a given but i don't like i'm not afraid that she's going to lean and snap oh my goodness i literally just noticed that and i love this so much you can see the little um pink toe beans under her hands and they're like raised too <gasps> they're so cute oh my god i love that like they could have just painted that on but they chose to like mold it on there i freaking love that this is so adorable these are probably one of the cutest figures i feel like i already said that but like these are probably two of the cutest figures that i have ordered this year anyways you guys that was my toru and kana one six scale cat unboxing i am so happy with these guys i think they're super cute and i'm really glad that i took the risk with uh this manufacturer i think they turned out great and i'm super happy about it please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon Bye bye guys